tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some interesting sort of texture designs using noise. Noise is a really good source for interesting textures, which can be added to an image or just used in their own right. Now, or maybe used in 3D imagery or something like that. Now, I've got this image here, and what I'm going to do is actually fill it with some grain. It's just at the moment, it's just empty. It's the same size as the other document. So, first thing to do, filter and filter gallery. And I'm going to use grain. I should not set at that. Grain can be found in texture. Now, there's a number of different options. Of course, you can use any of these uh, options, but contrast E. It's quite a nice one as well. Modify the intensity, obviously makes it very faint. Now I want it fairly maximum there, and click OK. So that can be applied again. That's one good thing with filters, you can apply them multiple times. Also, you can obviously modify how they're applied, so you can change the difference mode. Oops, I don't want that. Filter gallery again, just apply a couple of times, and now, once you've actually got that, you can say like you don't particularly like the uh, the white on I can actually invert that so just go to adjustments and invert now you can't see much now but you can also do auto tone and you get bring out quite a interesting structure which of course you can modify further you don't actually have to stop there you can actually go to other maybe maximum so create a sort of like a, a glowing sort of background effect. Now you could of course use this as a source for maybe a pattern or something like that but I'm going to use it as texture so uh, what I want to do is I'm just going to go to adjustments and black and white. So I'm just going to remove that and you can see again various and just by changing the how the red you can actually create different types of texture. Okay obviously the same basic structure is still there. So you can get that point, click OK. Great little texture already, but you can actually apply obviously other effects. So you can go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Um, I don't want grain at this point, obviously. That's a, I want to actually go to Sketch. And you can actually see great sort of grains there. Plaster, it's another one using the black and white. So you can actually see different plaster, and obviously just by changing the smoothness, and the noise is just great for just creating sort of unusual texture like that. Click OK. Now, don't have to do that. One of my also favourites is in Boss, and that's in Stylized, so Boss. So unfortunately, it's not a vast range of change the angle, so you can get different, change the height. Well, I quite like it, just a very subtle doesn't have to be intense, but it's a great sort of background texture. Okay, once you've done that, select all, and I can copy that over to this image. So once you've got this image, now I can just go, make sure I've got the background there, and I can just add that. Of course, you can't see anything, but of course it's a, a layer, so you can actually just use overlay, and, and then of course you can also modify that. Great sort of, very interesting sort of textures to that image. And again, you don't have to go with overlay, go with dark and, and other ones. Dark colour, soft light, and so on and so on. So you can modify it, and of course you can continue. You can actually go to filter, and again stylize, and just use it from then on, from emboss. So you can actually modify the emboss just by changing that. Click OK, and that will modify that as well. Right, hope you found